Here comes some damage, 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 damage. Here comes some damage, 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 damage. Bang, boys. Hail, hail Hydra, welcome to mode 21. And today I just wanna speak about my personal Hunter Ranger build mod 21. So it will be newest build with mystic insignias, with colors, not mystical <laughs> legendaries. Some of a hardcore boss, mini bosses, gear, rings, about everything, companions, mount insignias. So this video will be lo long. So yeah, just take your snacks and you know, <laughs> you know what we need to do. And yeah, I hope so you like it. So first is the gear because gear is most important in all game so let's speak about gear so of course i'm using blessed gorista horn for critical strike as you know all potions was nerfed not all but almost to five percent which one can increase your critical strike or critical severity so gorista horn is uh, help me a lot Blessed Bone Devil Ripcage, of course, this armor is still best in slot. It's not easy to get him, it's kinda expensive, but it's of course for critical strike and critical severity. If you don't have this armor or if you can't afford it, I recommend you go to Hardscore Boss and get plus 3% more damage armor. Arms is from Hardscore Boss mini bosses with power because, yeah. Power is something what you need, you know? <laughs> Power is good. About main hand and off hand, we have three choices mostly. We have Mirage set, which one is still very nice. Mirage is still doing very nice damage. And you can get him for free. Lon Her set, it's still very nice. Of course, it depends on your stamina. And Colestial set, so. All of this free set is doing almost same thing, you know, same damage. It's not big different on anything. It's just nice one. Boots, boots, boots. I'm using Westland Wanderers. Oh my god, I can't pronounce that. It's because for combat advantage. When you are 25 or closer to your target, your combat advantage is increased by 5%. I wanna boost a little bit more my combat advantage in combat, so why not? Of course, it's from Hardscore Boss, mini bosses. And yes, Rusted Iron Leg is still one of the best in slot, and I think it's even better than combat advantage boots. And of course, you can get both of these boots for free, it's no big deal. Okay, of course, artifact set is music box because you are ranger, you can use a lot of your account at wills, I mean, so it's still best in slot. Let's move to the rings. I'm using band of air because for all my tests, with two rings you do less damage, so I just use one ring, which one is doing much more damage. And one legendary ring from Voss, not Hardscore, it's just Voss, for more power and a little bit more accuracy. It's helping cap my power a lot. Shirts, it's from tier 3 Avernus Hunt. When your stamina is over 75, your power is increased by 5000. Again, this is helping me to cap my power. And pants is still same for tier 3. Maybe one day I will get a hard score of boss pants, we will see. And yeah, it's whenever you critical strike with your powers, you have 10% chance to gain 25 action points. Just why the hell not? Artifact, primary artifact, of course, anyone nomad. And yeah, you can use free artifact set for get some more hit points, more stats because. Yeah, it's increasing your stats, but I have only two books, so it's okay. If you have only an Envenomad journal with all pages, use just only one Envenomad. It's really no big deal. You will not lose something very much. 
powers, I think I don't need to speak about powers too much because it's everything exactly the same from my another build. Just for AoE, I think I can mention Rapid Volley. It's working very nice when you use your daily. It's proxying a lot of your daily, so which is why the hell not. Boons. Boons, of course, is depends what do you need. If you need more power, you can use power boon. If you need more... Oh my god, it's critical severity, you can use more critical severity. It's everything depends on you. Of course, I have movement speed in healing boon and utility mount speed so yeah it's everything depends on you campaign here it will be a little bit different because some of people at maximum have 81 and newest people have a little bit less because yeah we have boons from old charander and new charander yeah it's magic so yeah i just put everything for power yeah, this one is for power. Oh, why it's appearing so good? For power, hit points, and healings. Healings because I'm you. I like use some low healing potions, and they helping me. So I don't need to buy these expensive ones. Companions, companions, companions. Of course, Chuna as main companion for single target, and our. If you looking for not too much expensive companion for AoE, I can recommend you buy Regis. Regis is a very nice companion for AoE, but not for single target. But for AoE he can do very very nice damage. A single target companions, of course Cold Iron Warrior or Air Arcoon. Where is my air raccoon? Or air raccoon. Or yeah, we have couple single target companions, which one is kind of very nice. But I just like chill with my tuna potato. Of course, companion equipment. I'm using all three from Bountless. It's mostly for critical strike and combat advantage. Yeah, all of them. Oh, I have accuracy combat advantage. So I will still in future will change maybe this ones for critical strike and combat advantage because yeah accuracy sadly it's not a big deal. You have more accuracy, you have less accuracy, you will not feel any different. Purple companion thing, I don't know how it's colored. I'm using Acute Sense for more combat advantage and it's basically whatever you wanna more. Or you wanna combat advantage or you wanna some critical strike or critical severity it depend on you companions for I'm, I'm using alchemist for critical chance and combat advantage the bigger they are for more damage and I'm still testing kind of this one but if you don't want to buy this one you can buy Okay, sorry about that, I have way too much companions. Face Spider. Face Spider is very nice in defense slot with 3.8 crit chance and 3.8 combat advantage. Of course, Black Dragon Stone for 7.5 critical chance, Staldorf for 7.5 combat advantage, and Golden Cat for 7.5 combat advantage. Yes, yes, I know how Golden Cat is expensive, that's why you always can try by oh, where is my companions yeah sorry about that when i need to try when i need to find companions it's still taking forever bam, ba -dam, ba -bam. okay what i was using i'm not even remember what i was using in this slot oh my god baby what are you doing you need to do video but I just wanna show what else you can use in defense slot to increase your offense ratings. Because you as DPS, you just care more about offense ratings. And I just can't find it. Yeah, sadly I can't press pause. <laughs> that sucks. I know I was using something, come on, game. Not quickling. 
Okay, I think it doesn't matter. Power awareness, minstrel. Oh, I, I was using mercenary. Yeah, sorry about that. It's taking forever to find it. For 3.8 power and 3.8 combat advantage, it will help you with power a little bit and combat advantage. And of course, rune stones are all indomitable to boost my companion damage, which is another thingy what is important for all this thingy. And yeah, mount. Mount, I'm testing magnif magnificent inspiration for AoE because it's a very, very big AoE boost. Of course, for single target, still best in slot is stowed with 3000 magnitude. And yeah, for, uh, for AoE, you can buy Arcane. Arcane is still very nice for AoE. Divine Intervention, it's Wings Power, it's very nice for AoE. And this power I'm using Opportunist for 4500 combat advantage, so it's helping me to get my combat advantage. And move to the funny, one of the most expensive part is Colors and Insignias. So Colors... I'm using movement speed caller. It's taking forever to loading. At will power caller. So people still saying encounter caller is better, but I don't care. I like my at will and I like do pew pew with my at will, so that's why I love this caller. Next one is stamina caller. And this one Critical severity to boost a little bit more my crit severity. It's very nice and Astral diamond color because just why the hell not Insignia power. I'm using free assassin Conevement is decreasing offensive rating defensive ratings increasing offensive ratings so they take out my each my defense ratings 1000 and put to my main ratings power accuracy like more for 1000 more so it's kind of one percent for all, all of this one it's one percent two percent three percent and two warlord inspirations for companion damage insignia insignia is very personal thing i'm just using skills for critical strike and combat advantage some initiative for critical strike and yeah i don't know why i have this one some dominance to boost my power because power boosting it's i mean i still need this little bit of power and with 7750 it's helping me increasing my power again skills yeah it's almost everything same and one brutality but it's really dependent of you <coughs> whatever you need <coughs> oh, sorry about that so yeah, that's about it. And of course I wanna show what stats I have in combo. Just give me a second, I need potions. This one, this one, and flash key, and this one. So out of combat I have 88.2 power, 78 critical, combat advantage 76, critical strike 63. So about combat advantage, I will get 5% more when I will be on my target. And I have always chance to get another 7.5% from Accurate Sense. So let's just zoom on boss, give me a second, I wanna change to get full combat advantage to my Scorpion. Let's just zoom on big boss, yeah it's big boss, where you can training yourself. And of course just start hitting him. So yeah, stats, how you can see, it's very nice. Max power, max crit severity, max combat advantage, almost max, and very nice critical strike. Of course, I need to mention, it's kind of expensive, and I have 59.9 item level, what is kind of a lot. Oh, why I have only 59? Oh, yeah, now I see why I have this one. Oh my god, baby, what are you doing? Okay, let's just use Face Spider. 
so yeah 60.6 it's almost maximum item level of course um, you can get 1000 from colors which one I not recommending upgrade yeah don't recommend upgrade and yeah I have 7.2 base damage with lone heart so it's not so bad so again let's go to the combat let's start a hit with plebe and yeah stats as you can see I can cap pretty much perfect if I just run it so it's expensive it will take forever to upgrade insignias I hope so crypting will do something but it today it's not about that today it's about my personal hunter hash dps build so yeah boys and girls thank you for watching have fun and if you have any question just write in comment or directly me in discord i will try answer so baby is out see ya soon and bye bye